Now let's talk about closing sales orders. You'll want to close sales orders because if you get a number of them in here, it can make your invoicing screen rather complex. Let's demonstrate this. Let's come into sales invoicing and let's pull up a customer. Tidmore Real Estate. Now, when I click on this down arrow here, we only have one sales order that's outstanding. If we don't keep up with our sales orders and close them appropriately, we could have a very long list here. And that can get to be frustrating because old sales orders don't belong in here. We don't want to see them if they're old and not applicable. So let's look at how we close sales orders. Sales orders are closed in one of two ways. First, after all the items have been shipped, Peachtree will automatically close sales orders. Oftentimes, things don't work out that cleanly. So, sometimes you want to come in and just clean up your sales orders by checking this box, which tells Peachtree that this sales order is now closed. And do not display this sales order anymore in the sales and invoicing screen for this customer. Let's demonstrate this. Click on the open button, or we can go into Tidmore Real Estate. And we simply click on close sales order. Now Peachtree knows that we don't intend to ship any of the remaining items on this sales order. 